my channel so if you are new here my name is Dekan aka Edi Koko aka Queen of DIYs and um, if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much internet hugs to you thank you for always returning to my channel I love you guys so much please be not subscribed make sure that you're subscribed to my channel there's a wealth of knowledge available on this channel i mean i film skincare and lifestyle content even though i'm more consistent with the skincare content than the lifestyle content but i film these two types of videos on this channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a lemon body scrub please do want to subscribe i know i've been a little mia on this channel um lately but i'm doing better at the moment like i'm working on doing better at the moment so definitely expect good content from me um and also if you do have any kind of content that you would like to see on my channel any type of diy skincare diy please drop a comment down below and if something and if it's something that I can do, then I'll definitely get at it as soon as possible. So we all know exfoliation is very important for the skin. It helps to slow away dead skin cells so your other products can work better on your skin. So this one is a skin lightening and brightening um, lemon body scrub. It's an emulsified scrub. So this one is a lemon um, body scrub. Um, it's an emulsified scrub. So this body scrub is going to be useful in definitely just exfoliating the skin and getting like a brighter skin tone so yeah without further ado let me take you to the workspace and show you how this is done so first of all we are going to be measuring out all the ingredients that we need for this and here I'm just scaling everything to make sure that I get the exact um, measurement that I need for this and um, yeah basically the um, ingredients and the measurement listings will be in the description bar so do well to check that out out so yeah here I'm just measuring my lemon powder my sugar and uh, my e-wax and every other thing that I do need for this formula so one thing I do like to do is that I like to blend my sugar with a coffee grinder to make the chunks um, more smaller so it's not hard or abrasive on the skin. So this is a way to get the scrub not to be harsh on the skin when you're scrubbing. So yeah, once I'm done with that, I just turn that into um a bowl or something to work with so as you can see it is not your regular um sugar size i don't know i i couldn't zoom in for you to see closely but you get what i mean i just blend it to make sure that it is yeah smaller so now i'm just going over the ingredients that we need and that was our lemon powder and now our oil and also our shea butter like I said, all the uh, measurements will be listed in the description bar, so do well to check that out. And also oatmeal powder. And then our e-wax and cetyl alcohol. Um, yeah, cetyl alcohol is optional, but yeah, I use the two. And then a preservative of some sort. And here I'm using Jamal Plus, liquid Jamal Plus. And also our lemon essential oil, come on, is a lemon body scrub. So yeah, and also a storage container to store your finished product in. So now in a large beaker, I'm going to be working with my ingredients. So first of all, I'm going to add my powder ground, um, my sugar ground. And then I'm going to add my lemon powder, lemon peel powder. And also my oatmeal powder. And the lemon peel powder has a strong lemon smell that gives this body scrub a very soothing um, fragrance, natural fragrance. So I'm just mixing that up with a wand. And then now I'm going to be adding my oil and um, e-wax. So I had melted that up. So that was a mixture of my oil and my e-wax. So now that I've added it to my powdered mixture, I'm going to just be stirring it up. So with a spatula, I'm just making sure to stir that and make sure that everything mixes properly. So as you can see, the consistency is quite watery, but do not panic because um, it's warm. Everything is warm at the moment. So once it's, um, the more it cools down, the more it solidifies. So 
Do not worry about how um, liquidy it looks at the moment. So I'm just going in with my hand blender and I'm just going to mix that up with my hand blender thoroughly. Now this is to help fluff things out and give it like a fluffy consistency. So um, instead of just mixing it with the spatula, which might end up um, making the consistency just regular and normal, I'm just using a hand blender to make everything fluffy. As I'm fluffing it out with the hand blender, the consistency becomes better. So now I'm adding my lemon essential oil. And I'm just stirring that up again with my spatula. And as you can see, as the mix is cooling, it's becoming more solid. So yeah, I'm just going to keep mixing with my um, spatula. You guys, please, um, I show this part where I stir because it is important for you to mix this properly. If you want a good consistency, if you want your products to come out well, then you need to mix properly. So now I am going in with a mixer. This is optional. You can keep using the hand blender if you have that. But I just wanted it to be more fluffy because I like that when I put my scrub on my skin, I can feel it um, smooth and supple. As much as it's a scrub, I do not like it to be be hard or abrasive on the skin so now I'm just adding my preservative because this is going to be coming in contact with water in the bedroom you would need to add preservative it is important that you add your preservative now I am taking my storage container and this is just a recycled container you can just wash up anything in your kitchen or you can get a new one that really depends but you don't really need to spend more money because you're just trying to um, most times when we do DIYs, we're trying to save up money. So if you don't have um, the time to go get like a new content, you can always wash up something in your kitchen and always um, reuse, save for us, save for the planet, save for everyone. And yeah, here we have our body scrub, our lemon body scrub. This body scrub is efficient in slowing away dead skin cells giving you a brighter and lighter skin. We already know what lemon does, so do not sleep on this body scrub. It's one of the best that you're going to use on your skin. And yeah, here we have our body scrub, and I assure you that you're going to love, love, love this Body so that's scrub. it for this video. I do hope that you found it useful. Um, remember that exfoliation is an important part of skincare. If you do want your products to work better on your skin, if you want to see like um, a brighter and uh, basically a brighter and supple skin, then you definitely would need to exfoliate. Now, the dangers of not exfoliating is that if you do not exfoliate your skin, um, you're basically just putting products on dead skin cells, and um, most times these products don't get to penetrate your skin the way that they should penetrate your skin so as much as our skin has the ability to renew cells as we grow older um, our skin does not renew its um, cells like it used to when we were much younger so we definitely need to take matters into our hands and exfoliate our skin to get the best out of our skin so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you found it useful and please do subscribe to my channel i have more videos coming up for you guys and if you do not have anything doing at the moment i'm going to link um another of my diy that will be very useful to you you can check i think here is it here i don't know but somewhere i'm going to put it somewhere on the screen so yeah definitely check that out and subscribe if you're not because i don't know why you're not subscribed to this channel i mean like how would you come here and not subscribe? It doesn't make sense to me. So yeah, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Love you guys. Mwah.